So you mentioned Ortiz, uh, Virgil Ortiz. How far is he away? How close is he to a title shot in sharing the ring with Bud Crawford? I don't know. I don't know. But Virgil, you know, he's right there. You know, he's right there. You know, he's been proven uh, that he belongs with the top uh, fighters in the division. And, you know, uh, who knows? A couple of fights or next fight or whatever the case may be. He might be sharing the ring with Terrence Crawford. You never but you mentioned Ortiz of Virgil Ortiz. How far is he away? How close is he to a title shot in sharing the ring with Bud Crawford? I don't know, I don't know. But Virgil, you know he's right there. You know, you he is right there, you and you, that he belongs with the top huge fighters in the division. And you know who knows a couple of fights, or next fight, or whatever the case may be. He might be sharing the ring with Terrence Crawford. You never know Terrence Crawford has responded to Virgil Ortiz's. After he called him out for a potential fight, despite having to go the full distance Virgil Ortiz, finally achieved his goal, the Grand Prairie native remains undefeated having secured a majority, decision, victory, over Siri Bahachuk at the Malab Ultra Arena. This win earned Ortiz the WBC light middleweight title, though it did put a blemish on his perfect knockout record. However, it also opens up new opportunities for the 26-year-old who has long been chasing boxing glory in a bold move during his pop T fight interview. He called out Terence Crawford, signaling his next challenge. The once highly anticipated clash between Crawford and Canelo Alvarez seems to have lost momentum paving the way for a potential bout between Virgil Ortiz Jar and Bud Crawford. Forget Sue, the fight he want to make is. Crawford and Veer applause. Ready this intriguing matchup has even captured the interest of His Excellency Turkey Alik. Ortiz Jar made a triumphant return to the ring after a 17-month hiatus swiftly dispatchy. Ung Frederick Lawson and Thomas Delorme in the early months of the year, unsurprisingly, this sparked a flurry of commentary from prominent figures and the boxing community with many hailing the fight. As a modern-day classic having sparred together in the past Virgil Ortiz Jor and Siri Bahachuk seemed determined not to yield an inch from the opening bell, they charged at each other refusing to back down each round, turned into an intense brawl, captivating the crowd and solidifying its place as a contend. Er, for this year's fight of the year, in his eight-year career orders, Jar had never been knocked down twice until now. As the rounds unfolded, he grew more relentless focusing on sharp body shots that gradually wore down his Ukrainian opponent. Bohachuk deserves full credit for his relentless effort even. Earning a 11,313 draw from one judge, however, the other two judges saw Ortiz Jar as persistence and precision as enough to clinch the victory, both scoring at 11,412 in his favor, the Grand Prairie natives achieved. Fayment came just after Bud Crawford made his light middleweight debut on August 3RD. Crawford, hailing from Nebraska, claimed the WBA and WBO titles by defeating Israel Madoff Crawford, has long shown interest in facing Canelo Alvarez, but the Mexican superstar doesn't seem. Eager for the bout, Alvarez's response, along with his steep price demand LED, His Excellency Alake, to announce that the Crawford-Alvarez fight was off the table with two new champions now reigning in the 154 LB division, a title unifica. Tian fight appears to be the next logical step opinions on the fight's outcome, or split some argue it could have ended in a draw. But many are hesitant about Ortiz Jur S, future particularly his potential showdown, with Crawford hears what a few people had to say, impressed by the intense and evenly. Matched battle Lou DiBella had only admiration for Virgil Ortiz Jar and Sarai Bohachuk, commending them for delivering a truly remarkable performance he tweeted what Aang fight Ortiz and Batuk just gave us. I have a draw, probably because I don't want to lose Dan Raphael, clearly energized by the bout, underscored the unusual fact that both Ortiz Jar and Batuk managed to go the full distance, while acknowledging the judges' scores, he seemed to believe that the decision was justifiable considering how. Tightly the fight was contested. He tweeted first time Ortiz has ever gone the distance, only second time for Bohachuk. We go to the cards in Bohachuk versus Ortiz, 113-113-1 one for Yun Hund, for Yun 12 x 2 for the winner, by majority. Decision for Ortiz, who wins the WBC interim, 154 title. What a fight was very close hard to argue with it. Either way, Najee Chill thought Virgil Ortiz Jar might have gone a little too far with his call out of Terence Crawford, while he recognizes Ortiz's talent, the cigar. Talk host emphasized that Bud Crawford operates on a completely different level. 
he said respectfully to Virgil Ortiz Crawford, going to beat the hell out of him, Ryan Garcia, expressed sharp criticism of Virgil Ortiz Jar's performance set, suggesting that Ortiz Junjay should avoid projecting an aura of invincibility Garcia. Known as King Rai pointed out that the fight was tightly contested and highlighted several weaknesses. In Ortiz Jr. ES game, he said got dropped twice got hit with right hands that you can see coming face messed up. Don't talk like you are someone that's unbeatable when this fight was close. Close Coast Pohachuk took everyone by surprise when he shared his reflections on his second career loss on X the Ukrainian fighter Y. With a hint of subtle dissent, voiced his reservations about the result he proposed that those with a deeper understanding of the sport might offer clearer insights into the events that transpired in the ring, he tweeted those who understand boxing, know what just happened eagerly sharing her. Enthusiasm longtime boxing aficionado and actress Rosie Perez expressed her admiration for the electrifying and gripping bout, echoing the sentiments of many she also hailed it as a top contender for the covet. D fight of the year's accolade, she said yo this fight straight up F contender award-winning boxing writer Kevin. I labeled the bout a classic, declaring it an exceptional display of skill. He saw both fighters Ortiz Jar and Bohashek deliver impressive performances in his opinion, regardless of the official outcome, neither contender truly lost. He said, what a fight Bohachuk and Ortiz just put on a classic, and it elevated both men. There is no loser in this. The light middleweight division has become one. Of the most thrilling to watch, thanks to Ortiz Jar and Crawford securing their victories, Sebastian Fondor currently stands at the forefront with two titles under his belt. Meanwhile, anticipation builds as fans eagerly await Tim Zhu's return, promising an array of captivating matchups on the horizon. Virgil Ortiz Jar faces a crucial decision ahead. Despite his victory, a Sharpie observer might have noted that a relentless opponent could pose a serious threat, with Terence Crawford potentially gearing up. To secure an undisputed title in a record-setting third-weight class confronting Bud directly could be a high-risk move a wiser strategy might be to challenge other reigning champions, such as Fonder or Bakra Mraz. All of this approach would allow Ortiz to refine his skills and build up to a showdown with the Nebraskan Southpaw Oscar De La Hoya, recently weighed in on the Terence Crawford versus Israel made of bout, asserting that Virgil Ortiz Jar showcases superior skills compared to the unbeaten fight. Tier from Nebraska, Crawford stepped up a weight class to VI from Adams WB a super welterweight title. After a grueling 12 rounds bud emerged victorious by unanimous decision ending, moves unbeaten street recently De La Hoya was questioned about the Texas-born knockout artist Prospects against Crawford, the boxing promoter, express confidence, asserting that Ortiz Jar has what it takes to topple Crawford. In the ring, De La Hoya expressed that he believed Ortiz Jar possessed better skills, emphasizing that and it wasn't about punching power. He acknowledged Crawford's high ring IQ, but suggested that Crawford had been exposed in his recent fight against Madoff. Why do you think Virgil could beat Crawford? Oh, better skills better. I literally think he has better skills. And that's only the it's not that. Punching power, it's the it's the yeah Crawford has ring IQ. Like there's no tomorrow. But he was exposed last Saturday night. He was exposed against UM De La Hoya, continued by explaining that Crawford was expected. Ozed it in a way that revealed his vulnerability when faced with a changing style. He noted that if a fighter doesn't stay directly in front of Crawford as an easy target, but instead stays on their toes, throwing jabs, hook, and combinations Crawford struggles to figure them out in what way, what do you mean exposed in a way where if you change up your style, if you don't stay in front of Crawford, okay, if you, if you're not a target to him right in front of him, he'll pick you apart. But if you're on your top, O's and you throw your jab and you're throwing your hooks and your combinations, he has trouble figuring you out. And with F. Ortiz's power and speed and ring generalship, it can be a great fight. Terence Crawford recently responded to Canelo Alvarez's assertion that facing Bud would be a straightforward task, suggesting that a staggering 150 million would be necessary for him to even entertain the matchup. Additionally, Alvarez expressed strong belief that he could overcome Crawford if they were to meet. T in the ring at 168 LB, following Crawford's victory in the super welterweight division against Israel Madoff, there was a surge of excitement about a potential clash between the Nebraska fighter and Alvarez as Alvarez prepares for his upcoming bout with Edgar Berlanga, he was. Questioned about the prospect of facing Crawford in the ring, the Mexican boxing sensation dismissed Crawford's abilities, 
and suggested he would only consider a bout with him for a hefty payday in a recent appearance on the post. Rotaway podcast Crawford responded to Alvarez's comments, stating, I heard him say I'm easy work. If I was easy work, you take all that money that Turkey alike is offering you. But still, he wants $200 million for benefits, and he wants $150 million to fight me so. That just lets me know right there. I'm a threat. I'm a threat to him and his legacy because it would be crazy for a guy that started at 135 and came all the way up to 168 your weight, no catch weight, and dethrone you like two contenders on tech. 